Hello there. In this video, we're going over the prompts for the AI generative art. How to create the perfect prompt for the mid journey, stable diffusion, and what tools we're going to use. At the first, it seems like very easy. You can just type prompt what you want it, click generate on a stable diffusion or a mid journey, and you should have it some result. But after some time, you find out that whatever you're creating those prompts they're not exactly what you wanted they give it this is random effect and it's due to this how the ai translate the text you're putting because it's converted to the weight and that is heavily dependent on a clip system or system how the language is translated and also how the weight assigned based on what model you may use it what engine you may use it and what is a sampling method it was work together so because of that the engineering of the prompt become art itself and in this video we're going over all these multiple tools that you can use it and we'll start from the very simple open so you can access this and we're going to little bit more um engineering kind of tools that would provide highly flexible environment and develop better result so let's start with the first one and this is very common it's when you have an image you can roll over click on the image and preview what prompt they was using and this is called by example prompt or learning by example so we can see what they're using and many times i just saying i open i look on a cool prompt we can copy this prompt modify some parameters and see how it's work they also have another website that will allow you to search for all generated images that is publicly available and you can preview this way for example it's a prompt here by the way all of these links to all this resource we're going to use i will provide down in description so you can also explore by yourself right here is this example prompt here and we search for the fractal dragons you can see a bunch of images come out we can open click on one preview and right here you can see we have the what prompt was using of course you can copy create share all this prompt many of these type uh, website they usually free some of them have a talking but they also provide you by clicking and generating in a different services as well like online stable diffusion dali or a mid journey but this is one of them that you can click an exploratory kind of learn by example here's a, another side where you can also search for example this one will provide a little bit more advanced search because we have it all types on the side we can sort have it all different categories right now we'll just preview let's click click on some of them but before we do this notice right here it actually says what engine this using so this is a little bit better because mid journey will have it in format prompt differently from stable diffusion stable diffusion also utilize some weights and they work differently from mid journey or dali or other things so it's very nice to know right here we have all these different elements you also can specify the models dali mid journey JGPT prompt stable diffusion so we can select on some specific that we're working with this is not as advanced to specify what actual model or a checkpoint was using in a stable diffusion so we cannot search for this but let's click right now on one of the crystal egg from stable diffusion and right here you can see that kind of preview but there is a catch and a catch on some of the sites they also sell the prompts this is another ways that people also ask how i can make money with the ai you can also generate the great prompts and try sell them in some cases i think that is a little bit ridiculous because like personally people may create this prompt and they sell it's their choice but some of them different quality and the pricing definitely it's overpriced also they have watermarks and everything but just let you know uh, technically it's not copyrighted image just keep it in mind if you're paying price you don't necessarily will get a rights for this and I will recommend to watch my video about copyright 
and AI art. And in this case, you'll notice some of this, it is not copyrightable, even you paying money, just keep in mind on this. And even some tell you, hey, you need purchase to access to the prompts what created. It's plenty of the free tools on this. And in this video, it's what I want to focus more on a free elements. However, I will display some as a comparison, some website and services that ask you to pay for that service. And it's understandable. They may run service. They might run some back, uh, back end systems that they need pay for that. So it's kind of understandable how they make money, but it will be up to your up to you, whatever you choose, if you choose one pay or free. So right here, another ones, it's a AITX prompts generator website. And you notice right here, you actually can create some of the sites is um, done is better. This is not my favorite one, but it's also provides some interesting elements for you for you to do. So right here, you can see you can go ahead, type element you want it, subject action, so you can add additional actions. Let's go like magic, ground, click OK. It will add some stylizing actions for you. As well, you can add additional elements, for example, punk themes. Let's go to biopunk, click OK. Notice what it does, it's add these additional tags. It's in some cases, it's a nice way to look general on the words because you maybe don't know which way you want to go and you need kind of inspiration on the tags. And this has allowed you to look on some of those tags. The tags, they're important um, because most likely model was trained on these words. And this is, we'll show you in a, how you can figure out what model train in a second. But right here, you can see we selected. And of course, as and you can see, we have this line it's creating. It's very primitive on my personal opinion, how it done. It just let you select specific words and put them in here on the bottom. You have it also the pro builder, a little bit more version, but then you need to pay money. And I want to focus just on a free version as well. And down below, we have options that you can go ahead and send this to generate. For example, you can click on Crayon. This will prompt to open the Crayon website and pass this element inside. So overall, you can click draw and generate image for the, from the prompt that you just created. The another very interesting side is called Promptomania. And interesting because it will provide similar effect only you can do this for free and you can also see what you're creating. For example, right here, let's go type fractal dragon. Okay. Next, you know, you can add a prompt image if you have any image you want based on. But this one is very interesting where we can add subjects and also you have it your weight that we can specify. Okay, they also you can add additional prompt elements, which is kind of nice. You can build similar weight, a similar way, but you can add a little bit more weight to this. Also, you have the ability to add stylizations. So let's click on one style like landscape. Okay, yeah, let's go next. We'll add some details and notice as add details, we have options. I'm going to click on a camera. We'll go on a film types. And this is what I like about this. I can preview with images, what types it is. So I can select one. And as I clicking, you'll notice it is add to my string build here as well. It's add to our line, what we was creating. So let's go back to scenes, for example, high speed photography, and we can add all of this different lens perspective, color, dimensional, very nice. We also can go and mimic some art. Like I say it, it done some what other ones sites did as well, with exception, this is a little bit more visually. And when we're creating, you can see the string it's creating as well. So provide some visual reference to what a string is created. This is why I kind of like this as well. Beside that, on the side, we have it options. If you start from beginning, you can always select for the mid journey dream studio, which is utilized as DXL to new ones. We have its general stable diffusion, save spark. So you'll notice it is separate them. 
and base it on what render you're using because how i said before the our prompt string is changing depend on what render or what diffusion models you're actually using here and if you just run out of any ideas what you're going to create sometimes just blank you know mine this is very an interesting side for the prompt the random prompt generated so you can click on this and it is just creating random prompts for you sometimes this add values and i see this is little bit for um trying for mid journey with some exception for example on a mid journey five the stylization can go only up to 1000 so you kind of need to pay attention what is generated but it is kind of very fun way just to go over and maybe randomly get some ideas what you want to create and here's a few other websites i'll put a link down below for you you can go and explore they all very similar in a way they will build it but some of them may require credits this one is a drawing prompt similar things you can go inside create a new prompt a new prompt you can add like what do you want to generate beast and you can see right here we have a generate beast we can have it uh, history since which is will create some different random but it's based again on the you provide theme and they kind of creating for you same idea or random generated prompts if you don't like to use it web service you can generate this on your local machine and this is if you go to prompt guide you can download it his applications and run on your local machine it does perform a very nice job but you will need constantly updating if something changed or other elements was modified as i mentioned of the you can go on a hugging face prompt generated mid journey prompt generated and people create many of this kind of different types of the applications that will generate prompts for specifically mid journey or any other things and of course you come to the point when you can generate you understand how it's work how the weights work and you can generate your own with more idea very popular of course it's using jet gpt you can go directly from here and just ask for example and just give you an example you can go right prompt for ai generative art visual description of magical forest make it 150 characters you can set how many characters you want it so it's a most uh, specification you more give it parameters to application and you can see right here it will start render creating text for us of course we can copy this and after use it service you want for example right here we're going to use this in the mid journey and i just go straight forward without any modifications and also let's go ahead and we'll just do this inside our stable diffusion same things we're going to create the same prompt for our sdxl1 model okay so right here our result from mid journey and you can see it's actually perform very nice it is the magical forest where luminous a tree sway under the starlight and mystical creatures roaming among the elders trees so it actually create a very nice looking it is very close to the string so very nice beautiful description and with our stable diffusion you can see it's a provide elements you know actually i like stable diffusion as the excel kind of better in some case it's create this soft nice beautiful look so it's a very nice new model by the way if you're interested i will have it linked down below or on the side you can go check about how to install sdxl on your local stable diffusion and this is actually going in a pair with mid journey it's a very nice uh, model the very beautiful updates what we have right there so this is will take you to the next step of creating the after this you want to analyze and you want to see actually how does the specific model will translate because model and weight and clip and all these elements inside they work together they analyzing image providing with text and give you feedback depend what you think a system is working so it's in the noise is kind of working um i don't want to create too much mess but in simplicity when you put a text in 
the AI tried to create this image and after look on the image, it was denoising, it's creating and says, does it look what is people asking? So it does need to understand the words and assign specific weights to this. And it's based on a model. And doesn't matter if you sometimes you maybe type a special words inside, but if system does not have it, those words or in a different way to assign, you won't receive image you wanted. So in this case, we sometimes want to analyze image that we have. And this we can do by specific command. For example, in a mid journey, we can go just to describe and upload the image we want to check. In this case, I will just use the same image as we have it above. Paste in and press enter. This way, describe command. Tell me journey to take this image and analyze. And you can see right here we have some information back. This is provide four different descriptions because how mid journey work and you can select and try to recreate sometimes to understand how it's work. We can select one of this image type imagine and feedback see if the description or image analysis was similar to what receiving so in this way we can know what the system expecting from us for the stable diffusion for example it will be a little bit different like we can go to image to image here drag and drop with that image we created and we can go and select interrogate clip so in this case it will take this image and run to the processor based on the models and everything we have it and try to give it us descriptions of the image and here we have it our result from our image that it's interrogate or analysis the reason is why i bring this for you to show because sometimes you find the image and maybe not find the what description or prompt was using on this on that case you can put an image inside the mid journey or a stable diffusion or any other applications like Leonard AI and analyze, give you analysis back with the text. And then based on this, you can modify and work with this prompt. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you find this information useful. I recommend for you to watch my video about stable diffusions and how the prompt specifically work inside the stable diffusion with the weights and negative prompts as well as well working with the mid journey and more advanced prompting inside because each of those render different AI generators, they work a little bit different how they work together. Same like with DALI. I'll put provide link down below for you to check them out. Also be sure to subscribe to my channel to receive notifications when new videos is out.